you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, it's, it's a double window like that one. Seth took it upon himself to tarp up his house. He was nice enough to show us around his property. Most of the roof is now covered. The storm gifted me a piece of plywood, so put that on there. Thanks to the tornado Wednesday night, tons of homes in Shawnee look like his, as rain is in the forecast and concerns on further damage are building. What damage it can cause if it gets inside the roof, so I don't want it to you know, ruin any of the insulation and cause my ceiling to fall through. But others can't work on their houses like Seth did. Some people have to get crews to put tarps on top of their houses. You can see one of those crews right here trying to finish the job before more rain comes. We believe we've got 90 to 95 percent of the roof's tarps that need them. Emergency manager Chad Larman says the recovery effort is far from over. They've played a big role in tarping houses, while other crews try to restore power. They said they have about 340 to 400 homes still without power. Um, some of those have, are due to issues to the home with uh, the weather head being pulled off the meter base. Back to Seth. He says he's one of the lucky ones compared to others in Shawnee that lost much more than he did. He does have his power back, but other utilities haven't come back on. We got our power back uh, two days ago, so we just we don't have any natural gas, so we don't have no heat or no hot water.